The private property is a digital business and they're focused heavily on their digital platform and they really felt they needed to get into having a physical presence. So this is the first one and it looks like a great start so we're very excited about it. The big shift in the, in the market are going to be you know, whether the price points are right, whether it's going to be easy to sell or buy in, the t in a tough depressed market. Um, as you may have seen from the data, some, some really interesting rental uh, growth coming up, people choosing not to buy, maybe from a risk perspective. So there have been a lot of interesting uh, businesses coming in, certainly in, in real estate, to try and change the business model, change the commission-based business model. Um, we're going to hear about it later, I believe, a big debate on stage. Um, but certainly in the, in the portal space, the private property uh, business is, is focused on serving communities, consumers, as well as, as real estate industry, but also trying to offer more services. So the innovation is going to come in offering more than just a, a buy and sell listing platform. Well, there are a number of reasons why I'm optimistic about uh, Africa's future in general and South Africa's future in particular. All of the trend lines are heading in the right direction. Incomes are going up, inflation is going down, and uh, this continent has the youngest per capita population of any continent on the face of the planet. Those are all things that are working in this country's favor. Yeah, so at the moment there's no question that there's political uncertainty, there's economic uncertainty, uh, and as a consequence of that the foreign direct investment component uh, has significantly diminished. Uh, again, to take an optimistic view, I do think that we're not far away from a couple of good news stories, uh, a turnaround in terms of sentiment, uh, and an opportunity to capitalize on what South Africa has to offer from a country perspective and from a property perspective. Uh, and that the floodgates can potentially open uh, in terms of foreign direct investment, which is going to be to the benefit of everyone. So South Africa has uh, inherently uh, wonderful fundamentals and reasons to believe. I think there's enormous goodwill towards South Africa from the foreign community generally. Um, and we are an extremely desirable location. So if one takes a view that the current uh, economic and political uncertainties are short-lived and have the potential to be turned around, then we have a really exciting foreign direct investment story to tell. I think that there's a, there's a great deal of alignment around the industry in terms of wanting to succeed, wanting to make it sustainable uh, and, have, and have sustainable solutions for everyone in the country and that includes tackling uh, the issue of transformation within the industry to in fact ensure sustainability. The value proposition that the industry or estate agents in, in, as individuals offer customers needs to be very uh, clearly and articulately defined so that the customers understand exactly what they're getting for the service that they're paying for. And then I think that there is the potential for a range which can consist of, um, uh, on the one end of the spectrum, a technology-enabled solution which has a different fee to one which is a full-service uh, agency with everything that goes with that. Uh, as long as the customer understands the value proposition, I think that then there is the authentic conversation that takes place around the fee for that service. The summit, which has been convened by uh, private property and supported by AFSA Bank, is reflective of the fact that they appreciate that there's a demand out here that they've got to satisfy. Uh, and it's going to require multiple players working from the same page uh, to do that. Uh, you've got a large informal property sector in uh, South Africa. Those properties and those assets need to be brought on the books in some sort of way so that the value can be realized by the property holders uh, who have uh, title. Uh, once you do that, uh, a number of other things become possible. Uh, those people uh, at a personal level are able to monetize that asset, which means that when they've got kids going to university, they can help fund their kids' uh, education. If they want to start a business, they've got a, an initial pool of capital uh, that they can access. So uh, it's key uh, to unlocking the country's potential in the future, and I think there's a will to get that done. It's probably some of the industries ready for change. I think there's some innovative leaders who are really trying to push push in new directions. Um, as, as a whole, I think they're taking a bit of time and they should move a bit faster before they get uh, disrupted badly. But absolutely, they're all aware that, that change is coming and they need to start focusing on their digitization, making it easier for consumers to connect with them.